what can we do in our daily lives? I hear you ask. Uh, well, besides reading uh, part three of the book where a lot of it's talked about, uh, there are some other things we can do. We found a chemical that exists in our body that we lose as we get older that's really important for stabilizing our epigenome and preventing the scratches. It's called NMN, and you can see the mice on the left were drinking NMN. Uh, they recover pretty quickly. Actually, Jer Jeremy, let's switch to the other one. See if you can guess which old mouse in this video is drinking the NMN. you would be correct. Um, what we found and we published about a year ago in the journal Cell was that NMN turns on a, a longevity pathway that we've worked on for many years. These are stabilizers of the epigenome and they also control our cell's survival and defenses against aging. And what's exciting is that we have inbuilt longevity pathways that we can activate with these molecules like NMN. There are others that are, that are out there. Uh, one is called metformin, which is a diabetes drug, which is exciting because it's been seen in tens of thousands of patients to at least seemingly slow down the effects of aging and protect against diseases. There's another one that's more toxic, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's, it's called rapamycin. Uh, but there are things out there that we already have run into that actually may work. But what else can you do in your life? What can you do if you don't want to go to a doctor and ask for metformin, a diabetes drug? Well, one of the things that I do, one of the probably the, the best thing I could tell you having read thousands of scientific papers, is eat less often. Now that's not malnutrition, it's not starvation, but it does mean going hungry for part of the day. What I do is I skip breakfast, I eat a late lunch, sometimes I miss lunch, uh, and eat a normal dinner. What does that do? That turns on these longevity pathways. It raises the NAD levels in our body, which NMN will do also, and it will mimic exercise and hunger. Uh, well, hunger will, of course, mimic hunger, but hu NMN and hunger work through these same longevity pathways. And you might find that by exercising a bit like these mice, getting yourself puffed a few days a week on a treadmill just for 10 minutes is enough, and being hungry for a few days out of the week, you'll find you feel remarkably better um, and you'll be a lot fitter because of it. And perhaps when you're 80, 90, and even 100, you'll be able to continue doing all the things you always have wanted to do late in life. Um, start a new career if you want, start a new company, leaving a legacy. Uh, we have clinical trials in progress with a molecule related to NMN. So this isn't future stuff, this is stuff that's actually going on just across the street from my lab at Harvard Medical School. So we know that this molecule can raise NAD levels at least twofold in people. We haven't seen any negative side effects yet, and we're going to be doing clinical trials in patients next year. But not for aging, because it's not a, not a disease. It's, we're going to be treating a rare disorder. Most likely, uh, at least the plan, if all goes well, is to treat a rare condition called Friedrich's ataxia, which is considered a mitochondrial disorder, a lack of energy. But imagine a future where you can have an injection of a virus, and then have a course of antibiotics like our mouse, our mice are given, and turn on reprogramming for a few weeks, you'll start to look younger. Your hair might change color, it might regrow, we don't know. But your organs should be improved, you should get your vision back if you've lost it. And that might last for a decade. And after you've aged for a decade, you come back for a re reset. And all you need to do is to get a prescription for antibiotics that turn on these genes again. Now, again, we don't know how many times you can reset. It might be three, it might be 3,000. And if you can reset your body 3,000 times, then things get really interesting. And I don't know if, if any of you want to live for 1,000 years, but, uh, and I also don't know if it's going to be possible, but these are the questions we have to start thinking about because it's not a question of if, it's now a question of when. And finally, I, I like to, uh, I like to talk about my father, who's a role model for all of us, I think. So he's been on a combination of NMN and metformin and some other things that are written down in part three of the book. Um, I don't like to talk a lot about supplements and things, so it's all, it's all in there and 
we have a newsletter as well. But let's talk about my father. Now, this is not a clinical trial. It's what we'd call an N of one, or if you include my wife and I, an N of three. Not very well controlled. It's not placebo controlled. But my father was heading downhill. He was not very energetic. He was pretty depressed. His wife had died. He was just thinking, okay, I'm, I'm done for. But he's realized that his health isn't declining so far. And we don't know if it's because of the molecules or because of the exercise he's been doing or the intermittent fasting that he's trying. But nevertheless, he's a beacon of hope for all of us that we can live a life like his, where in his late 70s, he started a new career and he travels the world. And we just got back from Uganda where he went hiking with his three grandkids up a mountain and was the oldest person to ever do that. And for him, it was a breeze. He's literally stronger and fitter than I am at age 50 and probably when I was 30 as well. Um, so I want to end by saying thanks for coming. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions as honestly and as openly as I can. And I hope that you be not just begin, but continue this conversation because it's one of the most important things we can do for the planet um, to save on healthcare, to save billions of dollars, eventually trillions that can be put to other causes such as global warming and species extinction. Um, and I want to really Thank you for taking time out of your day for coming to listen. Thanks. Bye.